Hi, welcome to the Improved Garage YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday I talked a little bit about my new Mac Mini, um, which is going to be my new editing workstation and also what I use for working when I'm working from home. Um, it's just my general computer in my living room. Uh, so at that workstation, I have two 2K BenQ monitors, uh, 2K being 2560 by 1440 resolution. They're 24 inch monitors, and I find that to be a very good size for having a lot of stuff on your screen, being able to multitask very well, and also being able to still read your text. So today, and, and I've had those monitors for five years. Um, they've been good to me. I haven't had any issues with them in five years. Um, they, they work well. So what I'm looking to do is make an upgrade. Um, I'm going to get some new monitors. I'm going to give my monitors to the wife and let her use them for her working from home stuff. Um, so I picked up a new monitor for myself. And I've been looking at these ultra wide curved screens because I figure if I'm going to live with a monitor for five years, I might get, get something that I like. So I ordered one and here it is. Now this came from Monoprice. Um, I ordered it on Sunday. It is Tuesday. I live in California. They ship from California. So your results may vary. Um, there is a, a foot in the box and this, I think this is the mount for the back. Um, this is like cast aluminum. It's actually super nice. Um, so put that there. And I want two of these, but I wanted to make sure, because there's a lot floating around the internet about what resolutions the Mac Mini supports, what resolutions the Mac Mini doesn't support, you know, this and this and this. And it was hard to find anybody who just said, hey, um, you can use two ultra wide monitors with the Mac Mini with these cables and, you know, whatever. So I figured I would order one of them, try it out, see how it works, make sure it works on both of my inputs. And if it does, order the other one. And that way, if for some reason I ended up returning it, I wouldn't have to return them both. I just return one. Um, and I had a good chance for success. Um, so, this is out of the package. I guess I should check and make sure it's not broken. No, it looks good. Good. And who knows, maybe I'll light it up and it still won't work. Nothing against monoprice, it just sometimes happens with monitors. So there's this release button. Um, this comes out of the back. This goes in there and there are some screws in here, I'm guessing. So in the box, we've got the arm for the back. We've got the foot for the base. We have a, uh, this is like a, an angled mount that says up. So I don't know if this is, I don't know exactly what this is for. It's a metal bracket. There's two of them actually. Um, so I'll have to take a look and see what this is. There is a power cord, standard three pin C15 connector, um, like most computer towers would have. Um, there are two sets of screws in the box. There is a display port cable. Now the monitor has um, two display ports and two HDMIs. So I'll just kind of give an overview here. Um, so there's two display ports and two HDMIs. There's also an audio output, so you can plug a headphone in there. Um, or uh, I don't 
don't see an icon. Okay, it just says audio, so it must be audio output. There's a couple buttons across the bottom. Um, there are screws here for attaching the back to the base. So let me grab a screwdriver. Here we have a screwdriver. I have three screws here. So it appears as though they're giving us extra screws. These ones have a uh, beveled head and the mount for this back piece has a beveled head. There's only two screw holes, but they gave me three screws. The screws have Loctite on them from the factory, which is nice. So they should not come loose. Um, So there are screws that snaps into the back, locks into place. Then the foot, this guy here, screws into the bottom. And there are short and long screws. The short screws are going to be the ones that we use here. Um, you need three screws to secure this foot. There are four screws in the package. So again, it appears as though there's an extra. Get them all started. tight. And these screws have a little bit of a Loctite on them and they also have a lock washer. Um, so they should stay nice and tight. Okay. So that is that. Now let's get this monitor stood up. Now this is a 35, 35 inch curved display. The resolution is 3440 by 1440. So it is the same height as a standard 2K monitor, which is 2560 by 1440, but it is wider. So this will be a fair amount more real estate than my two 2K monitors that I have now. So plug that in, press the power button. Looks good. I don't see any marks or spider webs or anything like that, which is good. Cool. So let's go get this plugged in on the desk. So I like the monitor so much that I ordered another one. Um, so I have two of the Monoprice 35 inch um, monitors, the ultra wide curved. Um, they're an 1800R curve and what that refers to, um, you'll see that a lot of the curve monitors have like an R rating, 1500R, 1800R, 1000R, 1200R, whatever. That R rating refers to the um, the radius that a circle would have based on their curve. So from a normal seating position, you want a monitor that has somewhere around like a thousand R, but those don't really exist yet, so you'd be a little bit more curvy than these are. So when you're sitting in a normal spot, this is pretty reasonable. Um, over there, it's a little stretched. Over here, it's a little stretched, but it's um, 
you know, it looks good. Text is readable on it. Um, you know, it's 35, sorry, 3440 by 1440. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, the resolution is good. I can fit a lot of stuff on the screen, so I can do like three windows in a row all the way across. Um, I, you know, I set this desk up with the new Mac Mini that I unboxed the other day. Um, so that's actually kind of up under here in a mount. Um, so it's uh, connected with 3M double-sided tape to the bottom of the desk and it just kind of slides into that mount. Um, and I couldn't really find anything on what the uh, Mac Mini will run. Um, and it'll actually run two ultra-wide displays at um, 100 or 120 hertz, depending on the input connection. Um, so this one here on the left, that one's plugged into HDMI. Um, I'm using a Monoprice 8K HDMI cable. I'll post the link in the description. Um, this one is connected via a uh, display port. So this is HDMI to HDMI. It plugs into the HDMI port right in the back of the Mac Mini. And that one will run at 100 hertz. This one is using a uh, USB-C in the Thunderbolt port to display port cable. Uh, which would be DisplayPort 1.4, and it supports up to 120 hertz on that monitor. So I'm running them both at 100. I don't have any problems with them flickering or it, um, you know, running out of steam or not being able to run both monitors or anything like that. The M1 is is really really stout. Um, yeah, so it works well. And you know, just go over the rest of my desk. I have a this is an audio engine um, amplifier. Uh, which actually works really well. It's like 15 watts by two. Um, it's running a, uh, a pair of these Boston um, cubes. They're like a four and a half inch coaxial speaker. Um, and they're meant to be, they can be ceiling mounted, they can be desktop. This logo kind of spins and they're just a, a coaxial, but they sound pretty good. Um, because they're only a four inch or four and a half inch speaker, um, you know, there isn't a lot of low end. I have a, a Polk uh, 10 inch sub that's sitting behind my desk here. And, um, that's really a, that's something I'd like to upgrade. I'd like to move to like, um, I think, uh, I've been looking at a Motiva lately. So I'm thinking like a Motiva eight inch sub or something like that. Something a little bit smaller, takes a little bit less room, but still, um, has some power to it. So, um, but yeah, pretty happy with the setup. And, um, you know, if you're wondering the, yes, the Mac mini will run dual ultra wide displays if that's what you're looking to do. Um, I was actually able to run both of these and a third monitor that was a normal 2K uh, 2560 by 1440 um, that was connected to a display link adapter, a StarTech display link adapter. And the Mac Mini will support up to six displays using four, dis um, four display link adapters. Um, but the, uh, the problem with the display link technology, or, or the it's not really a problem, but just the way that it works. Um, it requires the CPU of the computer to generate the graphics instead of the GPU, so it is, um, it will slow your computer down running multiple displays like that, and you're kind of hard pressed to get anything over, you know, 60 hertz out of one of those adapters. So, um, next I would like that uh, sub, like I mentioned. Um, I think that I'm going to, I, I've got a Logitech MX Keys, and I've got a Logitech, this is an MX Master 2S. Um, I really like the mouse and keyboard, honestly. Um, I, I don't, I don't think they're bad. Um, some of the gestures and things like that with the Mac are a lot easier with the touchpad. It's kind of designed for the touchpad. So I'd like to get a Magic Trackpad too. That might mean that the uh, mouse ends up getting retired, which is okay. I'll take the mouse to work for me or, or with me or something like that, or figure something out with it. Um, the MX keys. I don't mind. Um, they support three different devices. They are Bluetooth, so they can connect natively to the Mac. Um, so I don't have any of those, like I don't have a little dongle taking up a USB port on my Mac. Um, it's wireless and it's backlit. It, it does a lot of things well. Um, if I come across a space gray um, Mac keyboard or an Apple keyboard, that's the a Magic Keyboard 2. Um, I might consider getting it if it's the right price um, and, and just taking this keyboard to work to replace what I have there, which um, the, the keyboard I have at work isn't great. Uh, so this would be a nice upgrade there. And there I use a Windows computer. So um, that's kind of the idea. Just do something new here. Just kind of always changing this. Um, but I've been editing videos on it. It works really well for that. It's got tons of power. It renders a little bit faster than my uh, MacBook Air, which was already pretty good, uh, which is an M1. 
Um, you know, I really do like the dual ultra wide displays. It allows me to multitask really well. Working from home has been great. Um, you know, running six applications si side by side and being able to just go back and forth between them without having to switch monitor or switch spaces or um, you know minimize and maximize things. Um, and uh, before this, I had a pair of 2K monitors, these, um, these BenQs that are kind of designed for CAD work. Um, so they're 24 inch, uh, 20, uh, they are a uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution. Um, and they're, they're height adjustable, they're, um, they have this eye care thing where they can turn down the blue lights. And they, they do a good job. Um, and they were great monitors. I just wanted a little bit more real estate, something a little bit newer. Um, those are five years old, and they've never given me an issue in five years. Uh, so we'll see how these last. Um, one, I guess I could call it a gripe about these monitors, is that um, they, the stands that they come from Monoprice with, which is this aluminum stand, um, it's adjustable from an angle perspective, but it doesn't have adjustable height. So the um, the default height that these came at was like here, which meant that, you know, for the normal seating position, my eyes are like here. Um, and, you know, these are pretty big monitors, so I, I'm kind of favoring the bottom a little bit. But sometimes I lean back in my chair or whatever, so I'm more towards the middle then. But... Um, they were pretty low on the desk. They were sitting, you know, like here. I couldn't fit this pen cup underneath it. So, um, or even this uh, anchor charger. So, um, I got these adjustable stands from Amazon. They're, the brand is Wally. -E. Um, these are very close to the weight limits of the Wally -E stands, but um, I think that they do a, a great job. Um, I'm fairly happy with them, and they hold the monitors really well, and uh, they're not like, you know, twisting or falling or anything like that. Um, I think the stands support like 15.4 pounds and these monitors without their stands are like 15.0. So it's, it's right there on the limit, but, um, other than that, it, it's been pretty good. And the, the Mac mini is right there has been super solid. Um, and I think that I'm not even using all of the ports. Um, there's a, there's a Thunderbolt free on it and uh, I think a USB free as well right now. Um, cause I'm using a little desktop hub to plug my uh, camera into and uh, that USB hard drive into so works really well so uh, thanks for watching have a great day